Gary going to send it? Records, car number four on your right. Three wide, you're in the middle. Co of course it is. You're in the middle, clear all round. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Welcome to the beautiful Circuit de Spa Francorchamps where we're going to be taking part in a Formula 4 fixed race on iRacing. Now, this is week 12 of my video series, Jack of All Trades. And in this series, I'm going to drive a different car every single week over the iRacing season and at the end, see if we're in a net iRacing gain or a net iRating loss. So, so far, after 11 weeks, it's gone pretty well. We are plus 305 iRating. So unless something really drastic happens, we're going to end the season in positive iRating. Now, there are certain self-imposed rules in this series. The first rule is this has got to be my first race of the week. I'm not allowed to do any warm-up races. I'm not allowed to do any practice races. And whatever the result here will stand, as long as I can finish the race without getting a meatball. So if something terrible happened on lap one, for example, and we dropped all the way to the back, well, if I don't have a meatball, I've just got to continue and salvage what I can. So because we're going for I rating, I am going to qualify in this video series. And for this one, we've qualified P6 with a 222.778. That was on lap one. On the second lap, we did a bit of a half spin turn one, so it was over. So we're starting P6. But before we jump on track, I want to say thank you and introduce the video sponsor, PC Specialist. If you're in the market for a pre-built computer system, please check out the link to PC Specialist down below in the description. I've been running a PC Specialist PC for a few months now, and my gameplay has never looked as good, and my recordings have never been as smooth. As a content creator, it's imperative that when I turn on my PC, everything just works. So check out the link down below in the description and use the code DC24 for £30 off your order. So on with the race, nine laps around Spa and the F4 car starting P6. This race is a reminder that you should never give up. You've got cold tyres. We need to get some heat into them. 20 minutes. Here we go. Week 12. This will be a standing Can we survive? Start. Okay, Dave. Nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Go. What's the weather doing? Right, nothing changing. Car right. Clear right. We just want to survive. I'm actually really nervous for this. Oh my car word! Ahead is car number seven. Be licensed. It's slippy there. Is Gary going to send it? Greg Ortz, car number four on your right. Three wide. You're in the middle. Oh, of course he is. You're in the middle. Clear all round. There's an incident in Lake Coombe. We think it might be Davis. Left side. Clear left. Do we have a meatball? I don't think we have. We've got some damage though. Are people incapable of just getting round one lap. Car left, clear left. Car doesn't feel good, so we're just gonna have to salvage what we can. Okay, Dave, the next car is Kane, car number 23. C license, and their rating is 2.1. Yeah, like, there's no need to send it into the... F I mean, I know it breaks a little bit early, but it's lap one. Like, self-preservation should be in. everything. It looks like grey, yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. 
The good thing is there's going to be many, lots of carnage. I mean, look at this up ahead. Just need a bit of tool. Car number 20, right side. Right side's clear. Need a bit of draft. I think it was Gary that in the yellow car that sent it, I think. B16. So we've got a little bit of draft. Does your steering wheel feel okay? It's a little bit bent, but not bad. I think it's the rear end I'm more worried about. The lack of aero probably at the rear. Car number three is leading the race. Car left. He's still there. Still there. Hold your line. Oscar, are you joking? Clear left. Well done, fella. OK, Dave, the next car is Gomez, car number 22, and their rating is 2.1. Yellow flag, watch out, oh, incident in good. turn 9. Looks like it's King, Greg Butts, and Miller. <laughs> Still just as it's dying. So at least we've got decent draft. Car left. Still there. This guy's connection is not great. Still there. Still there. Still there. He's still there. Clear left. Good move, mate. Right. The next car is Guillermo, car number 18. B license, and their rating is 2.2. There's a big minutes left here. B12. Sectors 2 and 3 are 0.7. Off the pace. You're a tenth off in sector 1. Performance here is terrible. I mean, I'm saying terrible. It's dropping to like just under 100 frames a second, but it looks like it's about 40. I had the same issue with Zolder, it's obviously just the whatever they're doing with the new tracks. The gap in front is now 0.7. There we go. There's an incident in Lacombe. Car right, clear right, left side. Clear left. Shout out to Xavier in front, he said hello before the race. Okay, Dave, the next car is Kane, car number 23. As did Lars in P1. Their rating is 2.1. Somebody else did as well. I can't remember who it was now. If we don't have draft here, we're screwed on the guy behind. Hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. That's B10 though, could have been a lot worse. We'll have to try and close it up on the brakes if we can here. Again there, it dropped to 95 frames a second, but it, it looked, or it felt, a lot less here. 
The leader's just done a 222.1. Fastest lap for Byron. 221 and we did. 23.7. Tenth position. Your lap time was 223.8. Just can't go any quicker. This is it. We do have some draft though. Nice front. I think he gave me that there. You must think that I've got pace when the I have in front of us is Wilson, car number 17. C license and their rating is 2.2. That brake by his back a bit. Three seconds to Alexander. Xavier, I'm like a brick in a straight line, so if you can't just do it. I'm just saying I've got the aerodynamic properties of a brick in a straight line after my damage, so uh, on the straight if you can just do it. Fastest lap for Byron, 221. Right, it's a little bit quicker though. B9, sector 3 is 0.7 off the pace. Fifty fifty. Okay, Dave. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. That's half distance. Fuel levels are fine. Just ignore him, you'll go away. All right. Hold your line. He's still there. Still there. Clear right. Might be my only option just to sit behind and try and go for the overtake into the chicane at the end of the race. Because we're like a wounded one. animal right now. New fastest lap for Martin, 221.9.
10. Sector 1 is 0.8 off the pace. <coughs> Right, if we can get close enough here, we'll send it here. I'm a bit too far back, 0.6, we need to be closer. I think. He gave us it last time, he's not going to do it again. Need to be right at this bumper. All right, Dave. Don't let this guy distract you. Stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. But the rules are that this is going to count. Them is the rules. Alexander's dropped back a little bit though. Right, point four back here. How close can we get? Bit of a rehearsal. I don't think it would be enough to be in send it territory. Maybe, actually. Point four back would probably do it. The leader has just done a 221.8. Slap in the session. Give a call, Julian. I'll just stay here now. That's five minutes to go. Right, we're going to have to have minutes. a decent lap here to close this up, otherwise. We're destined for P11. I'll put the brake bias back a little bit more. Let's see if that helps. A little bit twitchy though now. So we'll put that up a little bit more. Alexander's in touching distance from Xavier. Alexander could be in trouble. Off track. Yellow card. Don't strip the yellow card there when you approach the turn. I could easily have been an off track. Oh yeah, Alexander's struggling. So is it two more laps? I think so. Why? Two more laps. Don't start doing that. Don't 
dodgy Charlie's gone. That's who caused the carnage, isn't it? Well, I'm saying he caused the carnage. We were all there. There's three of us. That's a new fastest lap for Gray. 221.5. Might have been me. We'll have a look afterwards. There, 96 frames a second. Felt about 30. And a big lock up. Two minutes to go, two minutes. <laughs> the best races aren't always at the front, guys. This will do me. So where do we want to be going on to the last lap? The car left. Still there. Clear left. OK, Dave. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. On your left. Clear left. On your left. Clear left. Left side. He's still there. He's still there. Hold your line. Still there. Still there. Still there. Steve's off a little Hold bit. Your line. Still there. Hold your line, clear left. Sector 3 is 1.2, off the pace. Car left. Still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear left. Come on, that's the stuff. Right, can we get on the back of Javier? Xavier, Javier. I never know how to pronounce that. Right, we should be in striking distance here. Put a move on the brakes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Car clear Ooh. right, the leader has just done a 221.5. Car is records. Car number four. B license, and their rating is uh, nine nine three. P nine. There we go. It's over. Bring it back round. Not a bad race though. P nine. We'll take it. Right, let's have a look at the Carnage, which is, of course, powered by PC Specialist. If you're in the market for a computer system, 
make sure you check out the link down below in the description use the code dc24 for 30 pounds off your order so we didn't get a bad start we consolidated we didn't quite get the move done around the outside here but turn one but it's all about staying alive or it should be and then we skip forward a few seconds and we're probably a little bit too tentative and I give the guy on the right a little bit too much room, but the guy sends it around the outside when there's no presentation or anything. So, um, yeah, bit of net code there. And then all hell breaks loose. And a few of us get caught up. But the car's a bit scuffed, but the rear wing looks all right. And the front wing seemed to be okay. It was just side pod damage, it would seem. So on with the rest of the carnage. There's a few people went off. There's one. I, I don't know how that happens. It's the easiest thing to go too wide around there. It really is. I don't know how that happens. Yeah, he turned in like he wasn't there. And this poor guy got caught up in it as well. That was just in front of us. Oh, yeah. Stay off the curbs. Bump drafting. I wouldn't want to be doing that in an F4 car. Extra style points though for the 360 no scope. Oh. Oh, that's fast. What's his rejoin going to be like? Oh, a bit greedy on the gas. Get out of my way, KFC. Finger licking punt. Is Mr. Kentucky Fried Chicken going to return the favour? No, he's just killed him as well. This guy's on a mission. And that's it. Right, let's have a look at the results. So there were four splits for this race. This was the top split. The strength of field was 2,988. So we lost 0 0.06 safety rating. We really didn't need that. But surprisingly, we gained six I ratings. So Lars got the win, Julian P2 and Byron P3. We finished all the way down here. P9, car number eight, started P6. Obviously with the damage massively off pace, a 2.22.7, and we had eight incident points. So who was the biggest winner? I think it could be, it's a tie, I think, between the race winner, Lars, and Jackie, who finished P5. Both of those guys gained 67, and the biggest loser is easily Oscar King. He lost 134. So there we go, started P6, bumped all the way to the back, finished P9. Safety rating loss, but a small I rating gain. Like I mentioned at the beginning, this shows you that you should never ever give up. As for the start, lap one stuff, the guy in the yellow car actually didn't do anything wrong. I probably gave him a little bit too much room. It was the send around the outside and a little bit of net cord. But I'm not too disappointed because from that point, I really enjoyed it. So that takes our total so far after 12 weeks to plus 311 I rating. And that would normally be it for the season, 12 weeks. But this season, I racing are having a 13th week. So it's week 13, but not week 13 as we all know it. It should be, fingers crossed, carnage free. So if you did like the video, please remember, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. As always... Thanks for watching. Have a great week. See you later. Cheers.